and welcome to the incredible life of cat don't forget to like and subscribe on my channel i always forget to say that in a lot of my videos so i'm trying to make that a priority i am working on part two of my scentsy stash this is my collection of scentsy in there in the bottom two drawers there is some vendor wax and some store-bought wax so just to let you know, I've been a Scentsy consultant for nine years now. For some reason, the light decided to come on for this, so it's acting a little funny if you see dust particles. And I have my dog in my office with me. He's really clingy today. And yeah, my husband is in the kitchen and he is gonna be working on barbecue stuff. So if you hear banging around, he's not remodeling it. He is just yeah, he's just using the kitchen. That's all it takes. Um, I guess that's the downside of having my office right next to the kitchen, huh? But um, good news is we go through these bars. These are not all my bars. This is only part two. I don't know how many parts it's going to take because I also have some big black bins full of Scentsy. So we're just going to get started. Give me one second. Let me get repositioned. Okay, so I wanted you guys to be able to see the bars as I go through them. Um, I'm not sure how Hudson feels about that, so I know he has dirty paws. I don't care. Um, this is Mr. Hudson. He is two and a half years old and well, will be two and a half years old soon. He is a German Shepherd and he may redo. He may be baby. He is a big giant baby. Most people are afraid when they meet him, but I will get started with the top drawer. I don't have these separated by season. He's actually letting me just set that there. Could you, could you, Hudson? Are you sniffing the bar? No, honey. I have them separated kind of like bakery, juicy, or not juicy, bakery, fruity, fresh and floral. Not all of them are up to everyone else's categories. So we're just winging it. That's kind of how I have everything separated. We have Christmas cuddles. The notes on this are caramel, bourbon, vanilla, and cinnamon clove. I've had this for a very long time since it was the scent of the month in 2018, I believe. What I did to do on some of these older bars to get the date, because <laughs> I did not know, and I'm not gonna search for things. I don't have the energy to do that. There's writing on the inside here and somewhere, this one's kind of hard to see. There is the Scentsy Ink copyright and it has the year. So it might've been earlier than that, but I remember having this at 2018. I do remember when this came out because I was working from home when I lived in California. I'm sorry if I sound funny. I took like a 30 minute nap in between doing my videos and all my editing today. And I have happy birthday in this one. I got in a June club of the month or Sensi club. And um, I like this one. It's very nice. It's open, very cakey. Notes are sparkling sugar, fluffy whipped cream, warm vanilla extract. I'm not going to be sniffing all of them because we don't have time for that. Next, we have Clementine Cupcake, and this is one that I believe I bought in 2022. And notes are warm vanilla, sweet clementine, and lemon sugar. I don't know why there's part of another one under this. I don't know. But we also have Harvest Blessings, which is 2021. The notes for this one. Our radiant apple, spiced pumpkin, and smooth oak. I will be using this 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 coming fall. We have another clementine cupcake. If I have repeats in here, I don't have them in a specific organized order. I at least know what what category they are in for me. We have a sweet cream spice, and this one I think I got in um, the warehouse sale. Huckleberry apple pie. This was from the warehouse sale recently. I'm sorry, I forgot the notes. Apple, huckleberry, creamy vanilla. And there's no notes on this one. We have pumpkin chai. And the notes 
our white pumpkin cinnamon dash of chai. So those of you watching will know I have some old stuff. We have Buzzworthy. This one I've mentioned in several videos. This isn't a favorite of mine and I'm trying to use it up because I don't want them to sit around forever. We've got sugared almonds, creamy vanilla, and sweet honey. So when I do pick what I'm putting in my bucket, I do try to grab some of the older things. Unless they're ones that are that I want to do for the season and then I kind of try to hold off. We have lemon drizzle cake, which is relatively new. It came out a few years ago. And this bar is pretty new. This is lilac sugar, vanilla icing, drizzle, and lemon butter cake. The next two. Thought I was gonna burp. There's pumpkin tiramisu. We have a pumpkin, brown sugar, Ita vanilla, and Italian dessert. So it's supposed to be on top of an Italian dessert. I don't copy down exactly what scents he puts. I just put the main notes in there. And then we have vanilla mint. I've had this since 2017, and that is not a joke. Um, the notes are wintergreen frost, vanilla, and frozen citrus. That's one of those that I just kept trying to hold on to, but I know I need to warm it this winter. We have warm pumpkin drizzle. This I got in the warehouse sale. This is warm cloves, cozy pumpkin, and maple syrup. And we have cutie pie cupcake. This one is sweet clementine, yellow cake, vanilla, sugary icing. I find this to be very close to clementine cupcake. I mean, if you look at the notes that are in there, it's not that far off. So this one is stronger cutie pie cupcake is, but not by much. They actually smell almost the same to me. So whatever, <laughs> whatever. Um, here's the last two. We have lemon coconut chiffon. This is another one I wish I had in my club. I thought, so this teacher when we did the back to school night was warming this, but it was something else. Uh, this is lemon custard, butter cake, and toasted coconut. I really do like this fragrance, so if I see it again in the future, it's going in my club. So right now, while I'm putting these back in here, I have a monthly club and a quarterly club. I got rid of my bi-monthly club. I merged all my retired bars that I can't get into my monthly club. And um, I'm going to leave it that way for a while and see how it goes. If I want to add anything, I'm probably going to add it into my monthly club and my quarterly club. So that way it won't disappear. I don't mind having two, two clubs. It doesn't bug me. Three, I think, would be a little bit too much. every um three months doing extra wouldn't bug me so this is gonna be a long video okay next bakery drawer we have more christmas cuddles we have sweet plum pastry warehouse sale this is black plum toasted coconut and marshmallow cloud i don't know how i feel about this i like it but i'm not sure then we have banana rama I love this when it came out. If I had been having a club when this came out and bring back my bar, it would be there. Those little candies you can get from the dispensers at the store have like the fruits, the little fruit tart things with the little banana. This is what it makes me think of. You have sweet golden ripe bananas. This smells really good, so I would love to have it again. We have All You Need Is Love. This one is really good and a lot of people loved it. I was only able to get two bars. I should have gotten more. Note is coconut sugar, creamy vanilla, and Bing cherry. And then we have blueberry pancakes. This actually I got from someone off the black market. And that was, I didn't intend to buy this. I actually bought something else and then she realized a, a brick and she realized a cube was missing. So she offered me a free bar and she had this available. It is blueberry butter, light maple syrup. I'm not sure how I feel about that one. Then I have a bar of sugar, and it's an old one. Don't be all judgy on me. It is lemon drops and cotton candy. It's a lot light, or it smells like aqualina sugar. 
the perfume. Another hug in a mug. I love this scent. I wish I had more. There's chocolate, hazelnut, and cookie dough. So I might go looking for this on the Scentsy Black Market if they don't bring it back anytime soon. We have breakfast in bed. That is pumpkin pastry, black raspberry, sweet cinnamon drizzle. So this one's good. Everyone loves this one. I wish it came back. We have Buzzworthy again. We have Welcome Home. This actually comes in a brick, I think, too, in the Scentsy Club. The notes are warm and welcoming cinnamon spices, which is really nice for autumn. So I'm probably going to warm this in because it's getting kind of wet, kind of juicy there. But I might get the brick of it at some point. This is salted caramel toffee. I don't know why I sniffed that before I showed you. We've got salted caramel toffee and butterscotch. Caramel sugar cone. This is also another good one that they don't have anymore. And the notes on this are gooey caramel, vanilla, sugar cone, and malt. This is a really nice one. And here's another one. And then we have graham cracker crunch. And there's dog hair on it. Please excuse that. Graham cracker, crunchy peanut butter, and vanilla bean. This one smells a lot like peanut butter to me, and I'm kind of hoarding it right now because I really like it. I think he's dreaming. Are you dreaming about peanut butter, Hudson? He does that when he's dreaming. He's not having any problems. We've got coconut pumpkin pie. And there's pumpkin puree, maple syrup, and green lead, nutmeg, coconut shavings. That's another really good one I wish they'd bring back. And we have another sweet cream spice. I don't know why. It's, there you go. Rudu. Okay. We've got the fruity. This is Huckleberry Clementine. And I believe I've read this one to you guys before. There's preserve. Yep, Huckleberry Preserves, Clementine, Strawberry Vine. We've got black raspberry vanilla. This is dark berries and vanilla. I have a brick of this actually right now. We have cedar cider. I'm trying to go a little faster. This is gonna be a long video. Reddest apple, cinnamon sticks, vanilla beans, white cedar branches. Again, dog hair. <laughs> Johnny apple seed, which is Macintosh apples and a hint of crisp pear. Sweet cucumber. Apple blossoms, green melon, sugared citrus, and cucumber water. This I'm still on the fence about. We've got Valencia orange, pineapple, sugar cane, and sea salt mist. We also have more dog hair. This is why I don't let him near stuff I order for people. Um, Chase rainbows, which is now rainbow red. This is watermelon, cherry, and strawberry. Very bright. Blue raspberry, clementine, and uh, plum sugar. I might put this one in my club. I don't know yet. It smells kind of like bubble gum for some reason. Another Camu Camu, a 2015 Camu Camu. Lush mandarin, Camu Camu, and passion fruit. Sun ripened berry. Scoop of sorbet and sun ripened berry. This is a really nice one too. Mandalorian, Air of Adventure. I don't know how I feel about this bar. We have silver mint, bergamot, geranium, eucalyptus, and orange zest. So I think I'm gonna try this one again before the season's over. Cause I like it, but it's really light. We have pink sugarberry mint, raspberries, sugar, and a hint of mint. Oh, another one I really like, Tinkerbell. That is Feisty Tangerine, Lush Kiwi, Cucumber Blossom, and whims Whimsical Musk. So someone said they had a grapefruit note in it. I don't know, don't remember who it was. I don't pick up on that, but I can, I, I see where they're coming from. It's very, the citrus leans towards, towards grapefruit. Uh, custard Apple. 
This is pineapple, sugar cane, mango, and custard apple. A lot of people say it's not bakery. Uh, I have to agree with that. Melon apple granita. Crisp apple, sweet melon, and sparkling citrus. And then apple teeny splash. I really wanted to like this since I've been on my apple kick. It wasn't what I wanted it to be. Green apple, nashi pear, and simple syrup. It is very sweet, and that's not what bugs me. It's just not very strong. So, are you guys ready? We have Lucky in Love. And I mentioned this one reminds me of Victoria's Secret. I don't remember the name of the perfume yet. We've got mandarin, bergamot, oranges, hint of peaches and berries. Love spell. Victoria's Secret love spell. That's what it makes me think of. We've got Strawberry Rose, which again is another favorite of mine. I didn't even know I had an open bar. This is Mouth Water and Strawberry Soft Rose Petals in Sheer Musk. I actually just finished a bar of this. <laughs> Oops. We have another Strawberry Rose. And this is Mouth Watering Strawberry Soft Rose Petals in Sheer Musk. I really like this scent. And um, I want to come back. We've got rosemary or rosemary rainbow sherbet even though my scent circle says rainbow sherbet um this is orange zest sugary strawberry and key lime this is really nice it's very strong i love it it's in my scentsy club plumeria peach another good one this bar i think i'm saving for a really close friend of mine i don't think she gives a shit she's the one that helped me get hudson and um I was teasing her, telling her that everything tastes better with cat hair and dog hair. But the notes on this are a ripe pineapple, luscious peach, and blooming plumeria. I sent her a scent circle of this, and she really liked it. So when it gets cool, I'm going to send this bar to her. She loves Hudson. She picked him up for me and had him for three or four days until I was able to make it out there. And loves him to death. He misses her, too. He gets so excited when she comes to visit. We have pink sugarberry mint again. That is raspberry, sh raspberry sugar and hint of peppermint. Skinny dipping. I have two bricks of this. I'm working on one brick of this. Um, bricks are probably as old as this bar. It's green apples, melons, and juicy pears. It is just such a great combination of all of those things. So that's why I keep it. We have it I almost said April. Apricot vanilla. I want to love this bar. It's kind of light. It's heirloom peach and vanilla ice cream. So I'm debating putting this in my club. I might do that with this one and the blue one. This was from 2015 Sensi Family Reunion. That's the only Sensi Family Reunion I've ever been able to go to. It was in Las Vegas. I drove there and stayed with my aunt who still lives in the same house in Las Vegas. But I will not warm that bar. I should just put it somewhere else. I just don't know where I want to put it. We've got blackberry, um, vanilla blackberry. It's blackberry, amber, and vanilla. So, another one. The same. I don't know what I want to do with that other bar. Can't make up my mind. I have Havana Cabana. I wanted to love this, but I can't. It's pineapples, oranges, bananas, and berries. It's just too much of a mix. If it had more banana and less pineapple, I think I'd like it, but it's primarily pineapple for me. And then I have another apple press. And this is crunchy apples, juicy pears, hint of roses. It, I cannot smell roses in that. We have sun ripened berry, which I believe I had in the last thing. And that is scoop of sorbet and sun ripened berries. These are all older bars. I did get get one, I think, in the warehouse sale. They have champagne, strawberry champagne truffles. So nobody really liked this one when it was the scent of the month. That's why I still have one. It's fresh strawberries, creamy vanilla, and splash of champagne. No, it was a different one. Strawberry swirl is the one that my sister could not stand anymore. Um, this one is okay. I'd have to warm it again. But I only have one bar left of it that I know of. I have Berry Fairy Tale, which this is an old one too. It's pineapple slices, star apple, raspberry. I believe they brought this out when they brought out the Disney products. 
and had it out for a while. So I have peach and white amber, which was from the warehouse sale. That's peach, sugar blossom, and white amber. I wish I had more of this. It was formerly number 82, and since he had that perfume line out, I have a brick of this that I need to finish before I start using that. I have pink leather, which is the scent of the month for August. If you're interested in it, please contact me. The notes are wild strawberry, rich toasted vanilla, and smooth pink leather. I really like this fragrance. It reminds me of pink suede from Bath & Body Works. We have whipped vanilla lavender, and this is coconut milk, whipped vanilla, and English lavender. I want to like it. You can smell it pretty good on cold, and it's nice, but I can't smell it when it's warming. We have sugar blossom, and this is golden blossoms, sugared citrus, and vanilla. This was in the bakery section of um, the catalog, spring catalog. It's very floral, so I, I don't know what happened, and it's not my business. We have Honeymoon Hideaway. This is a very light scent, but it's very nice. Dew Kissed Lily, Tart Sweet Kiwi, and Coconut Palm. This reminds me of Hawaii. We have Summer Moonlight. This one is new to me this year, but I think it was out last year. There's Fresh Strawberry, Sweet Pea, and Sandalwood. It is so nice. I really like this one in our bedroom. We have another pink leather. 100 acre wood. So pink leather actually I might add to my club too. There's cotton blossoms, jazz, sweet, or, oh my God. Cotton blossoms, wild jasmine, sweet, cozy vanilla. I started falling in love with this one again this year before I could not smell it. And that was pre-COVID. After having COVID, I can smell things I couldn't smell before. Mentioned that in a few videos. Here's another 100 acre wood. I don't know why my nose is like that. And this is the second time I've done this. French lavender, it's missing two cubes. Wild lavender from the hills of France. I really like this fragrance and I think I just finished a bar of it or I'm going to. So I'm probably gonna put this in my bucket pretty soon. My wish. I don't know why I didn't put this in my club before it went away. Earthy Fig, Sweet Violet, and Playful Marshmallow. Now that I've had it a while, I can really smell the marshmallow, but it also kind of makes me think of root beer. Another Summer Moonlight. Pink Tulips. You will see more of this when I go through my floral bin. Notes are tulips, crisp apples, raspberries, hint of night blooming jasmine. I love this fragrance when it came out. It sold out pretty quickly. I don't remember this is an original, original, but it sold out fast. Now this is Bring Back My Bar. The original bar of this, when it was the scent of the month a few, quite a few years ago, sold out. Beach Daisy. This is in my club. I remember liking it. I have to warm it again to see if I'm crazy about it and how I feel. It's been a very, very long time. I have not worn this. Since I originally warmed this, it was sometime in 2016, I think it first came out because of the job I had. I remember where, I, where, where what year it was. Um, this one has had all sorts of juiciness all over it, and yet it has miraculously, it is miraculously dry. I warmed this in my bedroom last night. This is sugared lavender, marshmallow, vanilla, and this is woolly slippers. They need to bring this back as a surprise, if not just for me, for somebody else this winter. Also another one that I want them to bring back. I don't know why I don't have more of this. And this is lavender and white balsam. It is white balsam, crisp amber, and lavender. So I'm hoping I can find something that's like this again. This one is just absolutely perfect. And here's some more floral ones. Cozy Cardigan, I absolutely love this scent and it is coming back this fall. And it's going directly into my Scentsy Club. Um, Jammy Time, another favorite of mine. I believe it's still coming back this fall. Um, I don't have this in my club right now, but I could buy a brick of it or I already have. I wouldn't mind buying another one. It is Baby Freesia, Lavender, and Sweet Pea. Kahuki, Kukui Coconut. 
a lot of people love this one. I like it. It's a little bit perfumey, but I'm still, still very much on the fence. I think I have it in my club though. We have tropical coconut, kukui nut, and jasmine. If it does not come back, I'm not going to die without a bag. I don't know how I feel yet. Chamomile petals. It was a scent of the month recently, and it's very, very floral. It is chamomile petals, jasmine, and apple. Dog hair. If you don't like pets, you shouldn't be watching my channel. This is very floral, very heavy, so I don't know how I feel about that. I have three of these, three stargazing, star kiss petals, cotton, vanilla, sandalwood, and white musk. Um, it smells kind of like Nag Champa, the incense. I like it, but a lot of people compared it to jammy time, and that, for some reason, I don't know, deeply offended me. Um, if I look at it smelling like Nag Champa, it doesn't bother me as much. I have three of these, and my daughter loves this scent. She has one in her little bin, but there's three of this one. These are This was a scent of the month that I had. And then we have Sugar Blossom, another one. And we have here, another Jammy Time. One time I told someone I could snort Jammy Time with a, with a straw. This is Sweet Pea and Vanilla. Um, it smells a lot like the one from Bath and Body Works. I have not worn this in a very long time, but I need to, so I probably will. I don't remember if I just order it, ordered it or had it in a club, but it's not in my club now. We have Scarlet Sunflower, which is returning this year. This is Juicy Apple, Red Cherry, and Scarlet Sunflower. I really like this one, so it's going to go into my club. But I don't want to overuse and not like it so we have aloha orchid another favorite of a lot of people i think i got the second bar to try it again i'm still not sure how i feel here comes the sunflower i believe this is in my scentsy club i got this because i love sunflowers and i went through a whole phase of everything had to have sunflowers my mugs and my warmers and everything i still like it very very much and it's in my club And then I have another Woolly Slippers. I really love this fragrance. So if it does come back, it's going back in my club. Next is some of the woodsy and fresh stuff. Um, this is one of my favorite bars of all time. And I got this on Mercari. It got a little funky on the way here. I'm still going to warm it. I still love it. It's very juicy. If anyone has some that are perfectly intact, please message me. <laughs> please get a hold of me. Um, message on this comment. Comment on this. Comment on this video. Uh, this is Mandarin Splash Honeydew Coconut Water and Watery Greens. Not everyone likes this scent, but I have a very special attachment to Up, so it reminds me a lot of my dad. Fragrance in particular does not. It feels like it's losing its fragrance, and it's probably because it's been melted. But when I have it open all the way, like take the bar out, it doesn't. Harry Potter. The Wizarding World of Harry Potter. This is a good one. It smells, it smells like a very sexy man, but it's very strong. So this is something I would do in the open concept. We've got Ravenclaw, Wit and Wisdom. Notes on this are suede, sandalwood, and vanilla. And you know what? I couldn't smell that. Hardly. It was very light in my office. Scarlet Woods. I've had this since it came out. And I don't know how I feel about it. Cassis Redberry and Crisp White Cedar. I didn't like it when it came out. Now it smells kind of nice. So, I don't know. We've got Agave Nectar. Oh, I'm sorry. This is Christmas Cuddle. Cactus. Christmas Cactus. Agave Nectar, Citrus, and Siberian Fir. One of my favorites for Christmas time. Coastal Sunset, which is creamy coconut, sandalwood, and amethyst amber. Another very favorite of mine. And then we have Olaf Warm Hugs, another favorite of mine. This is Cool Mint, Snow Covered Woods, Warm Vanilla. I have a couple of bricks of this too. It's 
smells delicious. We have Dashing, which I just, this is a new one for the new catalog. And I really like it. So we're gonna be trying that. It was a bit strong in my office, but that's okay. Vanilla, creamy mahogany, and fresh night skies. This one was really nice. And then we have another up bar, one that is not funky. Still smells the same as the other one, so we're safe. Um, the notes are mandarin splash, honeydew, coconut water, and watery greens. They smell the same. I was afraid that one was losing its scent. It's just my nose. We have Fearless by Nature, which is one I got from the uh, warehouse sale. And that is Wildflowers and Sage. This is a nice one. I had that one before. We have another Scarlet Woods. Bee Mary. A very beat up Bee Mary, which I think is probably from my San Lorenzo house. Yes. Um, very Christmassy. Pine Bows, Holly Leaf, and Cassis. So I like this one, but only around Christmas. As you can see, I've had this for a very long time. And things leaked a lot more in your old house than they do now. And then we have the Christmas one. Which one is this? It's called Season of Magic. Sugar crystals, frosty icicles, pine, and wild berry. Oh, can I open this? It's hard to open. Dry as a bone. Smells lovely. Can't warm until Christmas. Some of these Christmas smells, I don't really want a lot of it until Christmas time. And then I have sweet cucumber. And there's dog hair on this. Apple blossom, green melon, sugared citrus, and cucumber water. So, we have one more tray. Because I'm not going to do the stuff that's not fancy right now. Just more Olaf. Next is Midnight Mahogany. And I tried this in my office. I like it, but it really, really needs to warm in a room bigger than this. Black plum, cinnamon leaf, and dark mahogany. Very, very strong, very good, but needs to warm in a bigger room. We have more Olaf. Here's some more dog hair. Another adventure is out there. I really wish they'd just bring that back. Mighty Pine, because if they bring it back, I'm gonna put it in my club. Adventure is out there. Palm Trees and Ocean Breeze. I think this is in my club now too. This is Palm Leaf, Coconut Water, Ocean Breeze. Notes for Mighty Pine, I forgot that. This is really nice. I had a scent circle ornament looking thing in my car and then Sita took it. The notes for this are Fresh Cut Pine, Icy Lavender, and Crisp Mountain Air. This one's really nice, so I believe it came back this year. Another Be Mary. Polar Bear Hug, formerly Eskimo Kiss, because Sensi changed the name because they need to be politically correct, which is right. I have to agree with it. It smells fantastic. The reason why I put that in parentheses is so I wouldn't get confused. Um, we have Blackberry Jam, Caramelized Brown Sugar, Vanilla, and Amber. Amber Road. Back when I didn't have a club and should have had a club. Amber Road, Red Cedar... The sinuous incense and birch leaves. I'm sorry if I can't spell and I wrote that wrong. Love, 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 love. Bring it back. Pretty and plaid. I love this one. A lot of people don't like this one. Juniper berries, winter green, Douglas fir, and cranberries. And I. <laughs> one year around Christmas time, right? I think it was right before or right after the pandemic. Yeah, it was right after the pan, well, Christmas of 2020. I was still working, I worked throughout 2020. I did not stop working, actually. Work got like, yeah, I was one of the last men standing or last people standing in that, in my yard. But they had to come back. I remember I like had some shit fit because that was going away or because I needed more of it. And I ordered like, a ton of it and it was funny because I was warming it in my office and seeing it start I don't know something about Christmas 
it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. I was seeing that in my office and my yard guy walked in. He was just staring at me like I had two heads. Um, this is Christmas Cactus, another favorite. Palm Trees and Ocean Breeze. I really love this one. Amazon Rain. Everybody loves Amazon Rain. There's a lady, I forgot her name. She does videos on YouTube and she said she should be the spokesperson for Amazon Rain. I want to be the spokesperson for adventurers out there and um, Olaf. Vanilla Suede. I really like this one. It is really, really nice. Amazon Rain is just absolutely delicious though. I forgot to tell you. Melon, Orange Zest, Coconut Milk, Night Blooming Jasmine. I should put it in my Scentsy Club. I'm double checking that it's going to be in next next month's calendar. Good God. Next month's catalog. We have Vanilla Suede. Classic Vanilla, Rich Amber, Sandalwood, and Spice. I really like this one. And I would buy it again. In the last ones more pretty and plaid which i haven't seen since then i guess someone said i was given the kiss of death and there was a brick and then it was gone so i might hunt down some bricks if there's anybody out there that has this and doesn't want it i would be more than happy to take it off your hands the notes are juniper berries wintergreen douglas fir cranberries and i'm going to become the new spokesperson for pretty and plaid last but not least is green apple, orange blossom, fresh spring air, all make up your pal Mickey. This is an old original one before, oh, oh boy. And it actually smells similar to Pretty and Plaid for some reason. I don't think they have anything in common, but I think my, it might be my nose. But this is all for what's in that cart. I'm not gonna do those pop bottom two ones. Those are for nonsensy wax. I have a little bit, maybe enough to fill up like two, those two drawers and that's it for non scentsy wax, which is actually pretty good. And I will talk to you later. Bye.